At a public memorial held today for National Free National Movement Chairman Charles Maynard, drawing scores of party supporters and the wider community to FNM headquarters, they took time out to pay tribute to the former Youth Sports and Culture Minister and Golden Isles MP. Tribute after tribute, the 42-year-old was hailed for his passion and commitment to the development of the youth and initiatives to advance the party and the country. We get the story tonight from Clint Watson. His life is being celebrated for its enormous impact to the Bahamian society, in particular the youth of the nation. Charles Maynard achieved success as a cabinet minister, member of parliament, senior party officer, family member and friend. The accolades and well wishes nationally speaks to his contributions. But aside from all of this, his infectious smile has left an imprint in the minds of just about everyone that he's come into contact with. I want you to celebrate the life of an incredible Bahamian. And he was that, a Bahamian. I want you to celebrate the life of a patriot. I want you to celebrate the life of a real FNM. He had an uncanny ability to recognize what persons in the community were saying. And as we've seen over the course of the last eight days, persons from every walk of life have talked about how Charlie touched their lives. Former Prime Minister the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram said he picked Maynard out when he joined the FNM six years ago. He saw what many people already saw in Charles Maynard, but was willing to go a little further and place him prominently in national service so that the entire nation could benefit. Years later, his vision, although not completed, was realized. Charlie was a gifted addition to the FNM's rank. We do not have now, could never have, enough Charlies in our ranks. Indeed, Charlies are very rare individuals. When we find men and women of his character and his disposition, with his energy, our organization must assist in molding and shaping them. The Charlies of this world, so as to help to keep the FNM in the forefront of change, advancement and development of the land. Charlie loved life. He loved his family. He loved people. He loved working. He loved the Bahamas and he loved the FNM. FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis remembers Maynard as a fierce debater, faithful to his colleagues, constituents, and the Bahamas. His dedication to working with young people, particularly through his party, led him to establish and develop programs for youth. His goal within the party was to also ensure the FNM became the party for the people. His eyes were set on winning the by-election in North Abaco as a propelling force for the party for the next general elections. It was a commitment Minnis hopes to keep among several other goals near to Maynard's heart. In his memory, I commit to his cause, the youth of this nation. I appreciate his support, commitment to our party, and dedication to serve Bahamians. We must continue to empower our young people, enriching their lives, elevate and motivate them to greatness. We should always remember that this was the dream and now the legacy of the late, great Charles, Charlie Maynard. FNM supporters say while they will miss Charles Maynard's smile, they will definitely remember his cause and it will be something that they fight for in the days to come. Clint Watson, ZNS News. Now Maynard's body has been lying in repose at the headquarters since last evening. Former Prime Minister and FNM leader Hubert Ingram and his wife Dolores were there along with former cabinet ministers, members of parliament and party members to pay their respects. We spoke with several of the FNM chairman's close friends, including his secretary, Eileen Spencer, his driver, Christopher Richardson, Adelaide Constituency Association chairman, Wayne Green, and others. He was a person who believed in putting people first and the young people of the Bahamas. He believed in young people aspiring to be what they should have been and one thing I can say about him was he was a person who if he couldn't do it he would say he couldn't do it. He never tried to pretend. If he can't do something for you he would tell you boy I can't do that. 
he would not lead you on or give you the impression that he could do it. He would tell you, oh, well, that can't be done. Or he will advise you on which road to take to, to deal with, 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 with certain situations. His chairmanship, the brief, I think, had, had he continued, I think he would have really made an impact for the, uh, for the uh, free national movement. And he was a um, very, very fearless member of parliament. Very, very fearless. But, and what I, I liked about him though, he never took it personal. And I've advised young politicians, there's every opportunity I get. Um, you have strong debates. Persons make strong statements, but you should never take it personal. Now, Maynard's body will be taken to the House of Assembly tomorrow. He aligned stayed there until Friday when a procession will head to Christchurch Cathedral for the official funeral at 11 o'clock Friday morning. ZNS News will provide full coverage of all the events live on 1540 and 104.5.